Why is the museum closed today? I've traveled a long way just to see the exhibits. Well, during the Olympic Games, sometimes the regular schedule gets a little out of whack, schedule. you know? There's a reception for today's gold medalists in the upper exhibition halls later tonight. Which is going to mean unpaid overtime for me, of course. Yeah, anyway, that's why we closed early. How very frustrating. Not much of a sports fan? I'm mainly here for the museum, but the games have certainly proved a happy coincidence. Well, I'm hoping I'll get to see some of my idols in the flesh tonight, uh, depending on who takes the gold medals. Uh... What do they actually exhibit here? The main exhibit is on Tibet. You see that animal by the door? It's some sort of enormous mountain sheep that lives in the Himalayas, but I've forgotten the name. Never seen that. with a P or an M. It's an Argali. Are you sure? Pretty sure. We ran out of In one. any case, there are all kinds of rare Tibetan artifacts on display in the upper halls. Do you think you could give me a hand and set this carton down for me? Thanks. You're welcome. You keep talking about the upper halls. Are there others? Well, yes, the lower halls. But they've been closed to visitors for over a year. Why's that? I couldn't tell you. And is there a reason you couldn't tell me? Easy. I don't know. I'm not sure I want to either. Well, now you've gone and got my attention. Curiosity can be very bad for your health, you know. All I know is that for some time no one has been allowed into the basement of the museum. And the lower exhibition halls were closed to prevent any visitors from accidentally wandering down there. Can we leave it now? Sure. Which events are happening tonight? For my money, the decathlon has got to be the highlight. But there's also rowing and uh, horseback riding. Yeah, oh, hold on. What? What? What does happen? Ah, what does happen? I have an event schedule in my newspaper. <coughs> I don't need it anymore. You can have it. Oh, thanks very much. You know that reception tonight? How exactly do I get into it? Oh, just go out and get yourself a gold medal. No problem. Oh, is that no, all? Seriously, aside from the medal winners and their trainers, you basically need to be a German politician. People like us are out in the cold, I'm afraid. Hmm. We'll see about that. Not much I can do then, I suppose. Ah, uh, goodbye. Would you mind if I took a look around your very exciting foyer for a while? Uh, no problem. Uh, as long as you don't get in the way. Promise. All right. Uh, can I steal from your cardboard box? I'll ask first. Please don't ask me why. But can I have some of the stuff in this box? You're asking me if you can just take my stuff for no reason whatsoever? Yeah. I thought the British were supposed to be polite. Uh, well... As it happens, that box is full of crap, so go right ahead. <laughs> it's an adventure game, buddy. That's how it works. I just take your shit, and then I use it to solve puzzles later that I'm not aware about right now. I've got an old rubber glove and sandpaper. Okay, how about the garbage bin? Why did he have Let's rubber gloves? Let's see if I can sandpaper? find anything useful. Yes, yeah, though, digging through the trash. Oh, the lid came off. I'll just pocket that, I you're think. You're just gonna steal the pot. There's all sorts of valuable rubbish in here. She's just gonna steal the lid the lid. So his valuables his valuables are the lid of the trash can. A dried bouquet of flowers and a broken bottleneck. Yeah, that's some good shit right there. The box office is closed. 
Eh, what is that in the sheep? Double so, sheep? we meet again, Argali. Are you taunting me? Is that it? Following me around and popping up at my lowest moments? Bad, Argali. Bad. Hmm. I don't remember the last one having such a luxurious beard. You are talking out loud to an Argali. Hmm. Shivers? I am not familiar the with shivers. The interesting things about this door are its large, round handles. And even they're struggling to get my heart racing. Can I go in there? The exhibition halls are closed for tonight's reception for the gold medal winners. Hmm. Alright, let's leave. Drain pipe. There's something in there, I'm sure. There's gonna be something in there. Should I shave the Argali? I should, shouldn't I? What's that? There's something shiny under that grate. I love shiny things. It's only about eight inches down, but I can't fit my hand through. I don't even think I can stick in there yet. Go to the city. I should check the museum before I look around town. Never mind. The grate won't budge. Let's see which contests are scheduled for today. <coughs> the final event in the decathlon is happening shortly. In the run-up to the long jump, the man in the lead is... No, this can't be right. Glenn Parker of the United Kingdom. There's even a photo. No doubt about it. That's the same Glenn Parker who went to Sandhurst with Richard and me. Oh my. Even back then, he was a top-class athlete. Fantastic! This is my chance to get into the museum reception. I'll just ask Glenn to smuggle me in. Maybe he can pass me off as his trainer. I should head straight to the stadium. He must be getting warmed up. Um... Okay, now we can go. Olympic okay, stadium. let's find Glenn. He's probably in the locker room. How are you going to get in there? With all that security. Nazi security at that. You d how did you manage to... I'm afraid this is the locker room, friend. You probably shouldn't be in here. Glenn, how, it's me. How Fenton. did you get in here? Fenton Paddock. Fenton? Nice beard. What are you doing here? I'm here saving the world. It's not a real beard. But look. I heard you were top billing for the decathlon. I need to talk to you. How did you even get in here? That's a rather... adventurous story. Oh god. About an hour earlier. <laughs> oh, now we're gonna go relive and it. And I figured I'd find you here. Not that it was easy getting in. Oh dear god. Ah, oh, are we gonna go back and actually do it ourselves? Hello! Hello. Is this the press entrance? Yes, it is. May I see your credentials, please? Credentials? The only people permitted access are the athletes, their trainers, official IOC employees, and press photographers. Do any of those apply to you? Sure. Why not? Uh, I'm actually with the press. Then show me your press pass. Would you believe I've temporarily misplaced it? Not really. If you've really lost your pass, go to the IOC accreditation office and claim a new one. But the events are about to start. I can't miss them. Then you'd better hurry. The IOC office is located at Parisa Platz. Okay, okay. I'll be back. And don't forget your camera. Only photographers are allowed to enter the contest area. Journalists should go to the main gate. Got it. Thanks. Well, I guess I'm heading to the IOC office at Parisa Platz to get myself a press pass. Or a fake one. Gas bottles? According to the label, these bottles contain helium. I definitely think these contain helium, you know. Excuse me, may I interrupt for a moment? Oh, hello! Do I really look all that busy? Well, now that you mention it, no. 
Is your whatever that thing is broken? No, I just don't feel like playing. Why not? An artist needs an audience. Attention, applause, and of course, earning a few pennies doesn't hurt either. Pennies? Hmm. Well, I can listen, but I'm afraid I'm completely broke. That's all right. This guy's always broke. The potential audience in this part of the stadium is pretty limited. Why exactly did you pick this location? Unfortunately, it was assigned to me. We have the odd athlete and journalist pass by, but it's been a slow pitch. I wanted to set up over at the main entrance, but I wasn't allowed. Oh, I see. See you later. Well, I'm going to go have a look around the city. Have fun. Can I take your hat? Even if I had any money, it's not as if he's actually done much to earn it. I guess the organ grinder is hoping that generous passers-by will drop some change in his hat. But the hat is still empty. Um... A barrel organ. Do you want some flowers? No? Uh... I need some more stuff. Parisa Platz. Ah, Parisa Platz. And that seems to be the IOC office. Oh, good. It's closed. Hello? Hey. Anyone home? Damn it. Now what am I supposed to do? Excuse me? Yes? Well, I'm sorry. Uh, but it was hard to miss hearing you vent your frustration at the accreditation office. Could you be both a fellow journalist and a fellow countryman? What gave you that idea? Only a true Brit would curse like that. I'm from the island too. And who else but a journalist would need to get into the IOC office? It's been closed since 4 p.m., by the way. Ah. Uh, my name is Edison. Baltus Edison. I work for the Tribune in London. Edison? Like the famous inventor? Yes, quite. You're the first person ever to notice that, in fact. Really? Because I would have thought quite a lot of people would have... Oh, you're joking. Um, my name's Paddock. I, uh... I'm a foreign affairs correspondent in Hong Kong. Ah, oh, lovely. Uh, my work has never taken me to our crown colonies, but I'm sure things are much more interesting there than here at the Olympic Games, eh? How do you mean? Oh, to be honest, I hate sports. I write for the arts and entertainment section, actually. Aye. But our editor-in-chief sent all available reporters here to cover the games, so we'd have an exclusive report on every event, including the dull ones. And what are you writing about? I'm a freelancer. I'm, uh, looking for stories off the beaten track, away from the big events. Lucky you. I'd love to trade places. You know, I'm working on a big story back home. I'm nearly ready to expose the romantic escapades of a certain member of the royal family. My research is nearly complete. If I could get back and finish, I'd have enough material to drop this bombshell on the public. But instead, I'm here, squandering my precious time on stories about Olympic handball. Yeah, excuse me, gentlemen. Mr. Edison, there's a call for you from London. Uh, probably my department head, wanting to know what's holding up my article on yesterday's events. Best not to tell him it was a bottle of scotch, eh? <laughs> Please relay the following message, word for word. Mr. Edison is currently indisposed and will personally report to the editor-in-chief. He would appreciate it if everyone else would leave him in peace. I will pass your message along, sir. Thank you. I won't last much longer on this job, I tell you. But I've bored you quite enough. Not at all. Actually, I have one more question about the IOC. Yes? Any chance of it opening again today? What do you think? Not a chance in hell. Well, look, I've got to get going. I'm sure you'd like to read your paper in peace. Not really. Our valued colleagues rarely have anything amusing to print. In any event, I enjoyed chatting with you. Likewise. Perhaps I'll see you later. Uh... Hello, Yanami. How's it going? Now we gotta somehow get into his place. A bus stop sign. What does it say? I can't remove it. Should you? Why would you want to? Napkin and ketchup? This napkin is mine. Hmm. 
all mine. <laughs> I'm glad that your napkin's all yours. Just wipe that up. A bit of tidiness never hurt anyone. Uh, apart from that one time I tried to clean the office and broke my collarbone. Long story. <laughs> my, my precious the napkin. <laughs> Is that a baby? The future does not bode well for that child's teeth. Or figure. He's sucking on a huge lollipop. <laughs> I like how the game makes fun of itself for hoarding all this stuff. Um. Hello, woman. I could teach her a thing or two about proper nutrition, but I doubt she'd be interested. Hey, it's a life choice. She just likes food. Uh, when did the Nazis host the, the Nazis host the Olympic Games? Back in the day. Was that before or during or after the concentration camps? I don't want to bother him right now. Before. <laughs> All right. Uh, talk to journalists, maybe. Careful! Do not touch my camera. Don't worry. I had no intention of touching anything. I spent a great many hours painstakingly setting up that camera, and it would be a catastrophe if you were to move it by so much as a hair. Please forgive my curiosity. Jesus, Allow man. me to introduce myself. Fenton Paddock. A pleasure. Count Otto von Droste Schattenburg. A count with a camera, eh? Wouldn't, say, uh, an adding machine be a more appropriate device? Please. I would be much obliged if you would not trivialize our conversation with such banal wordplay. I am a renowned photographer from Vienna. You never heard of me? To be honest, no, I haven't. But maybe that's because I live in Hong Kong. My work has also been exhibited in Hong Kong, sir. Oh. Oh! That Count Otto van Dross Schattenberger. What are you taking pictures of? I'm shooting images for my latest photographic series, Berlin and the Olympic Games. This work will be subtitles of forgotten landmarks. I intend to capture locations that are not currently the main focus of public interest. I see. Unfortunately, artistic freedom is becoming a thing of the past in Berlin. Photography is often banned in public squares or even in entire districts. This does not make my work any easier. What's the deal with these photography bans? All political reasons. The government officials here believe there are certain parts of the city that may be unrepresentative of the capital's overall charm. But the Brandenburg Gate's okay, right? That's correct. The gate is to be the central focus of my latest project. A photography ban here would mean all my months of preparation were for naught. Several galleries have already booked the exhibit in advance. No, a ban here would be absolutely outrageous. But then, the Count von Drost de Schattenburg isn't just anybody. Even here, I have friends in high places. Why, I would go straight to the magistrate and make my mind known. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. So, a camera ban. Alright, uh... Your camera looks very professional. Of course it does. It is the most advanced model available on the market today. It has... A new setting that I use for experimental photography. I take multiple exposures of the same image at regular intervals. This allows me to capture different phases of my subject and depict them in a single photograph. Right. Ah, I see. So the position of the camera mustn't change at all while you're taking a picture, right? Hmm, I see that you know something about the fine art of photography. Just an interested layman. Goodbye. Well, I don't want to keep you from your work any longer. Thank you. So I need to 
What if I take this sign? A camera ad. And I use the ketchup. Actually, I would need a something that looks like a band symbol. A telephone booth. What if I put the camera ad? I'm not a marketing guy. Why would I want to put up a camera ad? So you could have a camera ban? Or make it look like a ban? Old rubber An glove. An old marigold. Sandpaper. Rust free. Polished lid. Why would I need that? Bottleneck. Don't need that. Uh... I, his I could really use that press pass in his jacket. It'd get me into the stadium to see Glenn. I guess I should ask him first. Let me try calling him. From I the haven't phone got booth. any German coins. Come to think of it, I haven't got any money at all. Steal some. You've been stealing everything in this game. Steal some coins. Take the candy from the baby. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't cry. You know how it troubles mommy's nerves. Mommy just wants to enjoy a bite to eat in peace. Then she gets very cross when she's hungry. Either I look a fright today, or that kid is just jumpy. The poor thing nearly spat out his lolly. Good thing he didn't. I'd rather not get into trouble with a mother of that stature. Hmm. I'm gonna steal the. I, I bet you I'm gonna steal the candy from that baby. That baby's candy is not safe for me. Could I? It's already closed. All right, let's think. Let's think. I need coins or something or. I haven't got any German. Co I haven't got a telephone booth. Talk to journalists, maybe. Excuse me, Mr. Edison. May I bother you for a moment? You would only be bothering me if I were actually enjoying this newspaper. Which, to be perfectly frank, I am not. How can I help you? I noticed the press pass in your jacket, and I was wondering if you might be willing to lend it to me. Just for tonight, so I can get into the stadium to watch the events. Uh. I'm afraid I can't. I have to go and watch an event myself. And besides, my press pass lets me use the public transport for free. But you see, it's very important that I get into the stadium tonight. Look. My friend, we're just talking about sports here. You shouldn't take it so seriously. Tomorrow is another day, after all. You can get a press pass in the morning and start reporting right away. Okay, I understand. My apologies. No harm done. Since I already tried the catch-up plus camera ad, that didn't work. Figure something else out. Where, I, where am I going to get coins? The sticky lollipop. I scared the hell out of that kid earlier, but I just can't shift the burden of being such a responsible adult. Clearly the child needs some nutritional supervision from someone who doesn't weigh 20 stone. How Maybe much is I stone? can frighten some wits into him. That said, I'll be putting my own health at risk if his mother catches me. Maybe I can do this without risking death by blubber. Death? By blubber, you say that? I could teach her a thing or two about. Um. I I need that lollipop so I can get the uh. You want some flour? Can I suffocate you with a glove? No. I gotta do something. I need the lollipop so I can get the coins and the grate. Get the coins I can call. Get the newspaper and the other thing. Gotta be something here. Even if I had. Hello. I see it's still quiet as the grave here. 
<laughs> very observant. And from one pauper to another, I've given up hope that anyone besides you will ever turn up here. Well, let's hope someone does. Be seeing you. Have a nice day. Hmm. Balloon on the glove. Let's inflate the little bugger. Great. That is the ugliest thing I have ever clapped eyes on. And Sandhurst had communal showers. The gloves full of balloon heat. animal. Uh, a dried bouquet of flowers wrapped with florist wire. I'll unwrap the wire. Look at the face on it. Yes, well, that makes for the ugliest looking balloon animal I've ever set my eyes on. But the child will probably like it. Okay, let's take it back. Here you go. Here's your balloon animal. If I'd been given a terrifying balloon animal made from an old rubber glove when I was a kid, I would have considered myself lucky. I'm, uh... Yes, I'm going to run away now. <laughs> Ugh, what is this? Where did this foul-looking thing come from? Yeah, my little honey bun. He's a nice new honey Another of my attempts to educate the public bites the dust. She's giving that child sugar like it's her job. There went my string, you stupid lady. Dried flowers. Okay, I well, let's go back to the museum and maybe pick up the the coins with the lolly, the sticky lolly. Might just be long enough. Hopefully, it'll stick. Uh, we'll see. Ah, a Reichsmark coin. I can't help but think I could have spent all this time busking and made more money. But hey, it's something for nothing. Sort of. What? It's like taking candy from a baby. It's no big deal. It's no big deal at all. Now let's use the coin on the booth. Call the cafe, talk to him. Always time for a quick natter. Berlin Telephone Exchange, how may I direct your call? If I can lure Edison into the cafe, nicking his press pass should be a cinch. He hates his job anyway. Here goes. Please connect me to the cafe at Parisa Platz. May I have the name of the cafe you'd like to call? Uh, no. Then I'm afraid I cannot connect you. There are at least ten cafes registered in that area. It probably wouldn't help if I described it, would it? No. You'll have to provide me with a name or I cannot connect you. All right, I'll call back later. What? It's Thanks. The name's right there. If you're from a public phone, you should receive your money back. Well, that's something. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, they can do that. The name's on the freaking window of the place. I guess I've got to ask him what it is. Pointless. He won't. I've got to get... Glenn must be there. How can I... Isn't it, like, right there? A bus stop sign. I can't remove it. Hello, Count. Oh. Well, I don't want to thank you. Okay, let me. Maybe. Maybe Blubber will I know? I could teach. Hey! How. How do I not know what the name of the place is? A flyer with the Olympics of Glenn and I went. I'll have to. F I. I can't ask anyone. I, I can't click on anything in the shop. How would I specify which one it is? The napkin is printed with the name of the cafe. Ah, there Erica. it is. It's smeared with ketchup. There we go. Got it. Okay. Always time napkin. for a quick natter. I don't know why we can't look at the cafe right Berlin behind telephone me. Exchange. How may I direct your call? If I can lure Edison into the cafe, all right. I'll try my luck. Okay. Connect me to Cafe Erica at Parisa Platz, please. One moment, please. Uh, this is Cafe Erica. How may I help you? Do you uh, uh, do you have a customer there by the name of Edison, Baltus Edison? Yes, Mr. Edison is just outside. Uh, whom shall I say is calling? 
this is